Oh, Lord, I give you praise. I give you all the glory. You are worthy to be praised. Lord, you are good. You know, be my Lord. That's why I give you praise, oh. Make you take all my praise. Onye ne me ma le ti kwe rem na la o chuku o. Onye ne me ma le ti kwe rem na la o chimo jadi ne. Yari kama we fe. Onye ne me ma le ti kwe rem na la o chimo. Onye ne me ma le ti kwe rem na la o. Praise the Lord. The work he done in the cross of Calvary, he done it for us. He did it for who? For you and I. To set us free from our sin. He said, whatever you give as an offering to God is never cast or forgotten. What you offer to God can never be what? Forgotten. He not only use to look well. Any human being will cancel. Praise the Lord. Especially in the house of God. Anything you give in the house of God is not a waste. I mean, you know, it's not a what? It's not a waste. And it can never be a waste. Praise the Lord. He said, you shall give account. And some, somebody will equally give you account of you. They give often to boost and increase your what? Your treasures. Hallelujah. In all this I'm explaining, what I'm trying to tell you is that you offering to God is a must. To offer to who? To God. And as you do this, our Heavenly Father is really bless you in Jesus' name. If you have a what? Question. If you have a question, if, if there is anything you don't understand, you can do what? Ask a question. Or I will ask. Thank you him for what he has done for us and what he has done for you. Hallelujah. We all have heard the word from the Sunday school. This is something that you need to know. Until you know, you can recall. Knowing is by discovering. When you discover, you recover. Praise the Lord. According to the book of James, they said that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Meaning, if you didn't hear, your faith can grow. Please, it's an advice to us. Let us give out what we have ourselves to God. When we begin to talk about giving, people talk that it's money. Only no. There is something that is more important than money that you can give God. Let me mention number one, your time. God doesn't spend your money. You meet money planet earth here, you will leave money go and make it back. But that time you spend with him. That your time is what God values. Yourself, your heart, and your time. And it's an advice to every one of us that we should keep God our time. And as you do so, may God richly bless you and your household in Jesus' name. God, for this part of the study, for this part of the world, if it's you, God bless you. I want you to lift up your voice to the throne of grace. First of all, thank him for the gift of life. Lift up your right hand of power. Lift up your right hand of fire. Lift it up. Just begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him for what he has done for you. Thank him for the ah, for I and you to be seen. Just lift up your voice. Begin to appreciate this God. 
begin to glorify him, begin to thank him, give him praise, thanks, give him praise, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him for another day like this. Thank him for another opportunity in our life. Thank him for what he has done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. For me, Jesus, take it away from me. Take it away from me. Oh God, take it away from me. Anything that we may see, not to save you, Lord. Take it away from me. Anything that we may see, not to honor you. Take it away from me. Take it away from me. Jesus, take it away from me. Thank you for what you have done for everyone here. Thank 
to God for today being the last Sunday and the last day of the month of October. Thank you, God. Many enter this month called October, but not everyone finishes it. But it's not because of our righteousness. It's by your love and your grace. Thank you, God, because you said it's not he that will it, neither he that run it. It's God that she went mercy. Father, as everyone faces a different level today, by your power, by your glory, by your spirit, Lord, as we enter the month of November, let your grace carry us. Amen. Let your power carry us. Amen. Let your spirit lead us. Amen. Let your love function in our direction. Amen. And let your name alone be glorified in the world this morning. Helping us to build up our treasure. Helping us to know the certain things we need to do. Helping us to know that ah, our treasure is in you. When no more, when no thief, when no arrow can enter, Daddy, we worship. Amen. We appreciate you. The church said, Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for today's service. Thank you for the miracle in our life. Thank you for what you are going to do. Thank you for your children, the life of your daughters and your sons. Thank you for the life of the children among us. Thank you, God, for the life of the ministers. Thank you, God, for what you will do. And thank you for those things that you will not do. We say, may your name alone be glorified. This morning, we hand over the service to you, Lord. Holy Spirit of God, come and chairman us. Without you, Lord, we can do nothing. Everything is with to you. Over to you, Daddy. We hand over our affair. We hand over our life. We hand over everything that concerns us into your people hand. And we pray, Lord, come and take charge. Come and take preliminary control. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so therefore, Daddy, we take authority from the throne of grace. And we come against every power that is not of God. Sir and Asar, we take authority over them. Wherever they are, that is not God, we take them out. We send them into the abyss. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your power reign. Let your glory reign. Let your power reign. Let your fire reign. And let the people shout amen to your own glory. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Because I know that after this service, the lives will be here. Amen. The poor will be made rich. The sick will be healed. The oppressed will be loose. The confused will be discovered. And will be made perfect. Thank you, Daddy. Because you are God. And the weak will be strengthened. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let the living shut it. Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you watching the God of the land? Do you rest each moment in the cold? Are you watching the God of the land?
Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Celebrate it. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Are you happy? Yes, sir. We thank God for today. For you to see the last Sunday and the last day. Please, the front seat, please. Men, I feel the front seat first. Feed the front seat first, please. For you to see the last day and the last Sunday of the month of October is not by your power. It's by God. A lot has happened this year. As you can see, many we are afraid. But the Bible says that we are not afraid of the terror by the days. Nor the pestilence that move by the night. It's only your ears shall you hear the reward or the weeping. It will not come near you. It will not come near your family. The tragedy that is happening in the war, or the problem that is happening in the war, will not come around you. You will escape. According to the book of Proverbs, it says we will escape like a bear in the night. You will escape. You and your family will escape. Danger will not come around you. If you are shouting a man, let your amen be born again. Yes. We are not a mortuary than the central. Let your amen be born again. Hallelujah. Amen. With a close ovation, let's welcome the mama of professional power and the living minister to lead us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pray, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Is there anything God has done to you? Check around yourself. Check inside yourself very well. Is it God has done more things for you? Yes. I want you to rise. You are your way. Yeah. You are your way. You are your way. You are Yahweh. Why are you alive? Yahweh. Alpha. Omega. Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Omega. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh.
Hallelujah. Don't be tired. If you have your tight, just walk out. Walk front. Your tight quickly. Because I don't want us to stay here till 11. The man of God is ready to minister to us. There is fresh oil that is going to fall upon your head this morning. You have your tithe. It is good to pay your tithe. Even if you don't have the tithe card. That is 10%. It's what? Out of your income. I know that this week I just by God I bless somebody. Even if it's not your salary, somebody has not you money. Learn to pay your tithe. Learn to give out to God. And I know the Lord with the infinite mercy will lift you all. When you appreciate God, He enables you to do more. Appreciation is application for more. Lift your heart up, speak to God. He said, Bring in the heart into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. Lift it up, Baba, as I pay my heart. Let that be open heaven. He said, I will open the windows of heaven. I pour down my blessings upon you. Indeed, I will rebuke the devourer. He said, I will rebuke the devourer. For the sake. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Daddy, we thank you for the life of your children. Standing before you, Lord, to cast their tithe. Father, as they pay their tithe, may things be easy for your children. May things be easy for you. That anywhere you enter, according to the Bible, in the book of Malachi chapter 3, from verse 10, and the Lord said, I will pour my blessings upon you if you do this. Father, release your miracles. Release your blessing. Release your protection. Release abundance upon your children. At the drop their time, this will not be tight for them. I pray for your children that have nothing to give. Baba, bless them, O God. And teach them how to follow. And your name will be glorified. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Drop the time. God bless you. 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 Amen.
lie. You need to dance for God. You need to smile. You need to shout for God. Because you are alive. A dead person cannot do this. Hallelujah. One day, that was the last Thursday night when I and my friend Apostle we walk towards the village. And tomorrow we are calling it tomorrow being Friday is going to be the day we are going to lay my father to rest. And when I get to the mud mall around that kind six or seven got about and the guy went in and brought my father out. <laughs> I look at him lying down. I said, no wonder that Solomon said something. He said, a living dog is better than a dead lion. I look at how this man strong when I was small. Even the, the day he died, he will sit down the seat. He will stand. He remember those days. He sit down. He shake her. I know. And God told me, no, he said, son, I like him. The week before that day, he said, I like him. It is time. That is why we just pray little prayer. I told my dear brother, I said, don't worry. I called the one at the little. He said, ah, take him to FMC. I said, put down. <laughs> Amen. I look at him. I said, God, may your name be praised. That is why this time you are standing, this time your two legs is working, your hand, your eye is working. Serve God. Serve God. You know my joy? That my father ended up in God. There's a prayer I pray for him. I and my wife will walk to him towards the end of last year. We told him something was happening. Right where the people that back where the church galloped today, that's where we are standing that Sunday afternoon. And I am a wife. Look at my Bible, put hand on the Bible, and I called him. And I put the Bible in the book of Isaiah for him. They turned. He wanted to go, leave us. They turned back. And they listened to me. I said, Come, Daddy, I am praying for you. You will not leave this planet earth until you know God. Until you embrace Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. He said, man, you know, from that day, anytime I am a one enter video, he will need that. He said, pray for me. Even if I'm not there, he will tell my wife, pray for me. He said, pray for me. If I'm not, even if I'm there, he said, not you I'm talking to, I'm talking to my people. Pray for me. And we, we went to pray. We were in his hand and he said, lay hand on this, he shall pray. <laughs> you know, if we need that, I will pray. Even when he got here, we will pray. Sometimes you want to go. He said, pray for me. We are blessed. And to God be the glory. I thank God for his life. Today, he has come back to meet the creator. Leave me and you to serve this God. I know one day we'll see. You know, brother, the first song to the man that we just introduced. Hallelujah. He said, doctor, in theology. Give Jesus a clap of faith. If there's anything that is that is you know that stand in Bible, go and meet him. It's loaded. You know, something was to me last time that they have a book that he wrote. Very soon we are we will launch it. He wrote the book. We will launch it soon. Hallelujah. Amen. And my own is still on the way. Very soon we will launch it. My own is coming up both prayer bulletin and work and a big exercise, uh, note, uh, textbooks. And the Lord will bless you. As you read, the oil will flow in your life. Amen. Amen. Please celebrate my junior sister, my middle junior sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate my Lord. Hallelujah. And he went from Echo Papa celebrating for me from Lagos. Amen. Sister, I don't know why you are welcome, sir. Amen. Sister Precious and her husband is there celebrating for me. Sister, G Sister Faith and her husband celebrating for me.
like them. And there's like one of our brothers that is not here, the one that's sitting on this one that I call, the junior brother to my immediate sister, and this one, uh, brother Biffy. I know maybe because of war, they have gone back. That one stays in Lagos again. The, the, the second son of my uncle. Give Jesus a clap of faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, when my father was alive, he said, hey, I don't want women. But when they would begin to produce, he called my mother, I said, come. He said, oh, 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 oh. He looked at me. He said, my son, yes, I'm proud of you. If you take me to sell myself for you to make it, I will do that. And I can tell you that this is my father's death. And bring liberation. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, bring liberation. People begin to call me. Oh, you know, sometimes I will receive a phone call from you, from Italy, from uh, India, from America, from UK. I say, ah, what is going on? And I just call you. say, ah, Papa, we heard that your father. I don't believe it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Even if they have not done anything, but saying it alone. Heaven, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. There is another sister in our midst that we need to celebrate. The mother of this one I'm going to introduce, Simeon, the one that Simeon, my mother. Sister Beatrice is in the house. Hallelujah. She's a doctor in work in mass communication. Praise the Lord. That's what she studied in school. You know, if you went to reviews, they are the one who went to see them for Chinese. So, so, so. And also this thing with you. went to hear English, go after that. Hallelujah. Sister Presents is in the house. Celebrate her for me. Celebrate her for me. This is an American woman. The a jump dollar. Sister, I don't give you dollar. I offer you. Around me, this is not around my life. 
you can't see it. It's impossible. I married her when I had nothing. 2006. When I had nothing, I have a small cure while I'm sleeping with uh, this Abusa man. One of my friends entered my house and said, All this phone went through your house. All the room have to do food. Extra. What are you supposed to do? I said, Me one. I like. Why? Because of the woman I married. When she entered my heart, abundance come. When she entered my heart, doors open. When she entered my heart, miracles come manifest. Hallelujah. The fourth day she visited me in Lagos. When I was in Ogoroshoki. In my life, nobody had asked me money. No, you don't understand. That's why I told her, Mama, we have not started enjoying it. Because the day I go buy you a plate, huh? Jet, private jet. Anyone want to talk? I ain't know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. She entered my house. Brother Jacob, as if I can be able to be a witness. I was struggling, struggling, struggling from Oguroshoki to Ojoleba, where we walk. At the end of the month, the money they pay as a salary end up in transport. One day, a man see me in work, in Olaiwala Street, in a workshop. He called me. He said, Why are you like this? I said, I don't know. He said, I complain. And she just visited me. That the second day, when she just come to Lagos to see me. We are planning. In the midst of nothing, I'm planning to marry. <laughs> I'm taking the risk. It's very risky. I'm not taking risk. It's very risky. And you know, and the man called me. He said, Why? Because I'm complaining. Somebody visited me. I'm thinking, What am I going to use to give to her to go back to death? Um, as I'm thinking, 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 thinking. And the man called me. He said, Okay. It's like you don't have anything. He said, I said, Ah, okay, you understand. <laughs> Like you don't have anything. I said, okay, you understand. Many of you may know him. People that are with me when we are in power line, even when we start this place, I believe this is the second time of visiting this place. No other person is a brother that is bigger than, you know, there is a, there is a friend that is bigger than brother. Two of us, we grew together. We go to school together. We finish together. And today we are doing the same job. Two, we are not staying in the same town. He stays in rivers. And on the way from rivers, he came to visit me and my family because of this my father burial. Since on Wednesday and Thursday, he has been with us. Till now. He said, forget, I forget my service, my wife will handle it. But today I must do everything with you before I will go back either tomorrow. Please join me as we welcome into microphone. Not that person. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I appreciate you, my brother. God bless you. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, my dear brother. Please. Is, uh, Genesis. We are just meeting at Malachi now. At least we walk together now to Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank God for your life. Celebrate yourself and give God praise. <laughs> Amen. I thank God for your life that is here. And I trust the Lord that indeed you are returning home. We mark a new beginning in your life. That women is suffering for HIV. Yeah. If you are not looking for COVID-19, shout hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Next week, I trust the Lord that somebody here will be eternally free. Yeah. This is a deliverance ministry. And uh, every deliverance ministry goes with power. Without power, there's no deliverance. And without deliverance, you cannot be holy. And until you become holy, 
you are not entitled to your possession. A lot of people can be seeing something that I own that thing, but you don't have access to it. One of the things that guarantees you access to your provisions is when you are delivered, you are now made holy, and then doors open for you to gain entrance into your destiny. I pray for you that the Lord God of heaven will bring you a cause of visit, that we bring the mentions of your success in Jesus' name. Yeah. He visited Abraham and in majesty visit. Genesis chapter 18, the Bible told us all of a sudden, in the heat of the day, the old man was outside thinking, thinking and thinking, asking some funny questions. And the Bible says he looked up and he saw people coming to him. And when he saw them, the Bible told us that he ran to them. And as he ran to them, the Bible says he cleaned their feet. After cleaning their feet, he came back to the wife and says, so quickly prepare something for them. And the Bible says, why do man were prepare the food? They sat down with him and they began to discuss. And they were talking and talking and talking and talking. Everyone said, what does sir? Something is going on. The food is ready. And the Bible says, they sat down and they eat. After they do eat it, they said to him, Abraham, where is your wife? And Abraham said, it's just the one that is cooking. Is that the daughter and water? He said, okay, tell her that by this time, Aladosha, according to the time of life, I will return to her. And the Bible said, and Sarah had it and she became frightened. And said, how could this be possible? And the Bible told us something clear and the Lord said to him it's your wife that to me. He said, no, I did not that to I did not that to I did not that to He said, certainly, I will return to you according to the time of life. And you shall have a son. I come to announce to you according to the time of life. Some of you that is here today is your time of life. That that your Isaac will appear. Today is the time of your life. That that thing you have been asking for will come. Today is the time of your your life, that that glory you desire will appear in that time of your life. Then you have been waiting and waiting. A lot of prophecy have come. They have read confirmed prophecies to you. You have done everything you think you do, and it seems to be there's no God. I come to announce to you that your angel with your miracle has just arrived. I say the angel with your miracle has just arrived. If you remember in chapter 17, God looked at Abraham and said, Abraham, walk before me and be perfect. Why? Because Abraham has a man. Of course, Bible told us in Romans chapter 4, verse 17, and verses 17 and 18, this man, in case you believe in hope, well, I don't know how it's going to be. I'm almost 100 years old, and you are still telling me I will have a child, and this man is not the one. Well, I don't know. This man was contemplating because he doesn't know what should be the answer. And God looked at him and said, Son, walk before me and be perfect for certainly I will play Israel because it's your son but he does not carry the covenant it's not the one I am talking about I'm talking about your son his name is we call Isaac he says certainly out of your wife Sarah who they call bad and bad or forgotten shall come for the blessing he shall carry the covenant I profess on your life today as the Lord you that before my son let your Isaac appear that you might be able to know at the same time that your eyes will come to you. Yeah. Yeah. He said to him, and my covenant will be with you. Today, I have told people several times, you don't need to just say, I am a Christian, I go to church, I am a child of God, you are just wasting your time. All you need to do is to become a covenant child of God. And when you become a covenant child of God, you are graduated from just a Christian to become a person that God cannot do without. Are you hearing me? When they come to God, covenant is the highest sacrifice. When you come to a place of sacrifice, and the sacrifice is laid upon the altar, and you don't just say, no, God is my sacrifice. You say, when are not passing this man out of the sacrifice of Ruah, he said in his heart, never again will I cause the earth because of man. He gave, he prays the cause, he break it. I pray for you, say now my covenant will I establish with you. In chapter 9 verse 9, he said to Ruah, my covenant, I will establish with you and your children, children. I pray for you that the good Lord of heaven, as he touch your life, may he transfer also to your children after you. 
Are you hearing me? I have to pray up when I come to prayer. But I don't know why. Well, I did not let me to sleep for 21 or 2 years. I prayed for because some person is here. Your story has been that of Sarah. It seems to be that too much delay. I thank God for love of our mother who came to speak about delay. That's why when you look at her, there are too many things that shock your life. There are too many things that makes you cry. Too many things that you are pursued over. We don't know the answer to them. I pray that some for heaven to you. As we pray together, you have no way of destination over. Your angel shall appear. When God came, Abraham looked at God. Ay, 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 ay. Four horns and four carpenters. Stand up, let us pray. Four horns, four carpenters. What did I say? Do I allow a horn? Let us see you become a horn that scatters. There are some people that come to church, their mission is to be a horn. Not only your church, there are people that enter your business, enter your company, you come around you, even come to buy from you, they are horns. Are you hearing me? So if you are not careful, you regret meeting them. I pray for you by the Holy Ghost that after this meeting, Anything horns, people that look like horns around you shall vanish away. I say, shall vanish away. See, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, you have said to scatter my life. You have said to scatter my life. You have said to scatter my room. You have said to scatter my room. You have said to scatter the church. You have said to scatter the church. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the help of the angels of war. By the hands of the angels of the war. I destroy you now. I destroy you now. I destroy you now. I destroy you now. appeared in your dream and when you wake up from it you became sad and the miracle vanish away you had a promise that when you come something I will give you I will give you that but when you get back to that it can never be done anymore because of an encounter that took place in the last season as the Lord labor before my stand I command that on destroy destroy my heart destroy this guy heart destroy my fucking heart destroy
all of my generation. All of my generation. I love people, my family. I love people, my family. To raise your hand. What are you waiting for? You are. You are. You are.
Your head that they say cannot be lifted, your family is lifted. Amen. Father, I profess over your life. I'll see. Your head is lifted now. Yeah. Your financially lifted. Yeah. Your head is lifted financially. Yeah. Your head is lifted materially. Yeah. Your head is lifted academically. Yeah. Your head is lifted in hell. Yeah. Your head is lifted in wealth. Yeah. Your head is lifted in virtue. Yeah. Your head is lifted in miracle. Oh, 
If one of the day will tell God, say, God, I live well for it. I do it. I live well. Yes. I get better because your word say, if I live many years, I don't get better. You better say, not born me. Our father will be the great say, the father because. One, he gave failure. Two, he gave prosperity. Not be so. 70 years now, here when Bible says people will live. He said, but when you get strength, you live this 80. Not be so. My father was walking well, moving well, healthy, energetic before he, 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 he did the back. I hate people when sick, they didn't see. They rush out. He said, he said, five years. Came up as well, die. He said, like, which you, he did that condition, they go, go, go. Anybody in like that in your family? Before you say, I'm going to go fire one and two ashes. You know, green time, you go to do more evil. And then it's only here, four years. It is. You will not be your experience. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this family. They have done what is right. After burying their father, they come to you to say, Lord, we are through with the burial. Thank you. Thank you for the father of the house now. Thank you for your servant. You are planted as a priest in the house. Thank you for the cousins and brothers and friends. Thank you for this church. I saw their role. A lot of them tried. Lord, I thank you for the provisions you made. Thank you because above all there was no bad news. Lord, we have such your great name in Jesus' name. On behalf of this family, we say thank you, Father. On behalf of the family, we say thank you, Son. On behalf of the family, we say thank you, Holy Ghost. And just we appreciate all of you for the roles you play for ensuring a successful burial. We thank you, mighty creator. Therefore, into your holy hands I commit them. Lord, we know on earth what men do when the people love their father. And that's why you shouted your word in many places. Thou shalt not oppress the fatherless. Thou shalt not oppress the widow. I pray for this one, O Lord, as fatherless. And as the mother as a widow. Anybody, anywhere, in any time, in any season, in any seconds, in any minute, in any hour, in any day, in any week, in any month, in any year, that will arrive with the intention to subjugate them, that will arrive with the intention to oppress them, to suppress them, to deny them what should be there, or to manipulate in any form, or to cause another death untimely in that family. I command and I declare, I learn by history. It will as you are reminding me that your father and mother lived longer. I pray for you, you shall live longer than your father. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I hear you. God shall be quick to oppress your oppressor. Amen. I know you are hearing but I am hearing you. I am hearing you as I speak now. He said to me, I brought you to declare vengeance. I on your behalf, I declare vengeance. Amen. Vengeance of the Lord. On your attacker. Amen. Vengeance of the Lord. Amen. On that wicked man. Amen. On that wicked woman. Amen. On that friend. Amen. On that relation. Amen. On that uncle. Amen. On that nephew. Amen. On that niece. On that anybody Amen. that will arise any day to oppress you. As the Lord liver, I declare God's vengeance on them. Let it rain as fire upon them. Let it rain as rain upon them. Vengeance of God on their way. Vengeance in their feet. Vengeance in the marketplace. Vengeance on the street. Vengeance in the school. Vengeance in the house. Vengeance in their farm. Vengeance on the street. In the city, vengeance. Anywhere they talk to, they will be with the vengeance. And here this one, the oppressors of the church shall be bent, shall be oppressed by the Lord. God will vindicate you quick for today. The Lord will vindicate you quick in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare God's vengeance on all your adversaries. God vengeance on them that hate you with that cause. God vengeance on them that we went to do you because your father is no more. He said, now that Peter is no more, let us who can speak for them. Your Gamaliel is behind you. 
I say your cavalier is behind you. I plan for you everywhere help us. I plan for you everywhere help us. Both to who we speak and defend you. And both to who we help you with physical things that you need them. Listen! Amen. Amen. I come by with the blood of Jesus. Because you thank God for what I hear God say to me. As you are stepping forward, you will step into joy. Unspeakable joy. I see you people dancing, everybody's putting with your hands. You are dancing out of the house, dancing, rejoicing. I release you into joy on that day. Joy on that day. Joy on that day. Yeah, you now be going back. I hear something. Before you get back to your destination, you will meet a good news. I hear some God, I see people going to a different direction. I prophesy to you as the Lord lived. Because you are in this meeting, you will call the pastor for a testimony. In this November, testimony! Amen! Miracles! Amen! Breakthrough! Amen! Elections! Amen! Glorious cause! Amen! Bless you! Shall it be? Amen. May God be at your right hand. Well, I'm going to pray for you. I stand on this altar. I told you, I came to that time that I pray for you people. Where I struggle with ministry, you will not struggle. Amen. Where I claw, you shall all. Where I find it difficult, you will find it easy. Because black men around you, that before you hear, still we know what you are talking about. Amen. May God give you vision carriers. Amen. Everyone that has helped you in this area, in this month of November, we are stepping into. Let there be a supernatural financial payment. Overflow. Yes, Lord, I speak as a prophet of God. Go to go to the Kashata. Lepo Kosoto. Baba Katishinata. Lopo Kosoria. Those who are around you are in the church. Your hand is weak. You, you, you are now drawing your hand. You are, you, your hand is getting weak. I pray strength to you. I pray strength to you. Amen. I pray strength to you. Amen. I put the vice to Lord that your hand to Holy God. When you are weak, when you are cast out, I lift you up. Amen. I command light to shine in your darkness. Amen. I declare you blessed and fortified. Purified for the master use. Amen. Every of your talent, your resources on this altar, I bless you. Amen. I give you the blessing of Abraham. Amen. 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 I say I invoke the blessing of Abraham upon you. I invoke the blood of Isaac upon you. Yeah. I invoke the blood of Jacob upon you. Yeah. I enlist you in the covenant work of Israel. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. Offer you of the blood of Jesus. Give me the family of a late welfare on Friday. I cover the blood of Jesus. The Sunday family, I cover the blood of Jesus. It shall be well with them that wish you well. It shall be good for them that make it good for you. Amen. And it shall be worse for them that want to make it bad for you. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Jesus glorious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. You all are blessed in the name of Jesus. We thank God for the man of God that God has used to exalt us and to pray for all. Here we come to the end of today's service. Please, you all have done well. Before we share grace, let me use this medium to thank every one of you. Indeed, you all are wonderful. By being by my son, laying my father to rest, many of you traveling from far and near, from Lagos, Benin, Port Harcourt, River State, I said the Lord will reward you. Yeah. Perfection, power, and deliverance ministry members, 
the Lord will reward you. Amen. I pray for you. Whatever you contributed in this season, whatever you use to help out, the Lord will replenish you in abundance. The Lord will pay you back in abundance. In the name of Jesus. My in-laws that come from far and near, the Lord will bless you. As you go home, your testimony changed for favor and upliftment forever. Forward ever, backward never. Hallelujah. And you will begin to grow from strength to strength. Hallelujah. You know, the Lord has done enough, has done well for us. People thought that we can't do this. People thought that, yes, we can't. Let's see how they are going to lay him to rest. But today, the Bible says that the mouth that speak evil have come back to speak good. Hallelujah. Today, their mouth have been turned back. And I pray for every one of you that are hearing this testimony that that man that speak evil against you we speak well for you from now. Amen. That man that has talked against you, we talk well for you now. Amen. Can I tell you this? In the city of Idumesha, I call that place city. Because very soon, all the witch and wizard in that town, they all will be buried alive. Amen. Holy Ghost will, will smash them. You know, there's a play on my play, talk ahead. Smash the wicked. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, it said the wickedness of the wicked will not run. <laughs> shall go down. Hallelujah. Now, in that city or that town, people talk, people are afraid, but I can tell you that God has started handling them. Praise the Lord. I was telling one of my brothers, I said, Don't be afraid of this family because the Lord has given you authority to tread upon. The serpent and the scorpions in that hole. Praise the Lord. And indeed, the Lord has done well for us. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Even those that are not here, I know they will hear. Please, the Lord will bless every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I want to thank you. Some of our members that are here, please check around. There are some of us that are not in the church. I see so many are not in the church. They don't know what's going on. Please, when we leave here, try, find time to visit one or two. Find time to do what? To visit your sister, your brother. Ask of him. Call him or her on phone. Where are you? What is going on? And the God of heaven. We bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shall we rise as we share the grace? The thanksgiving is over. For I love for every one of you to be around us today. Please, do us that favor. We waste time. Thank God. It's already after 12. Before 5, we will come back home. They will come and follow us down. The thanksgiving, the burial is over. Just come and follow all the judge. And Follow us to take the little drink that we have. We don't have food. Though mama cook food this today. Mama wake up alone in the night. Around three. And prepare food for the musicians and others. You know, it's a strong woman. It's a strong woman. Indeed, that yesterday night. After seven, she left home. She went to market. To buy things. And when I come back around again tonight. I say, here. Yeah, this woman, you know, when she sit down, I was not surprised. At the use I did the tap her. Mama, mama, said, that you understand. You know, don't worry. There is a day of paper. The Lord will pay you again. As of Friday, your husband has nothing to give you. But hear this from me. I will buy you jet. Yeah. Ah, can you celebrate this? It's God that will give her all she needs. But what, what I will do for her, I will buy her jet. So that every good job 
I sent it to her a couple of years ago, year 2013. I told her, I said, Mama, look at me. In this compound we are, we have nothing. But very soon, I will lie down. No rock, no carpet, ordinary ground, ordinary cement like this. I don't use rock, clean me. And I lie down. I was taking a turn. That time, if you see my face, you know they look at you that because here, yeah, don't fall. Yes, yeah, swell up. Mama, today I pray for you. The Lord will increase your hand with money. Come, what about the no good do? What about the no good? At all! The Bible said in the book of Proverbs, he said, a, you know, a poor man pursue his brothers, his friends with war, with a war, and nobody seems to come around him. But today, who is a brother to CBN governor? If you know that you're a brother to CBN governor, let me see your hand. If you know that the cover is your brother, raise your hand up now. Uh -uh. If you cover, come down now. Everybody will go. go. Why? Because they don't say something. Go. Very soon, God will raise you CBN governor. God will raise you, person and speaker that you are As you are saying, amen, I said in your family, among your children, so God will raise you, someone that is bigger than brigade. In the name of Jesus. I told her, I said, Mama, all this other they call you pastor wife. They don't say, in the night when you come back, that's what she will wear. You worship. Come, there was a time in my life in this town that some made the drama club. But today, today, I told her, I said, that we envy you. Mama, that we envy you. He said, how? I said, that we envy you. Watch out. It's not up to three years. It's not up to three years. Heaven come. Today, heaven will come to you. I say, heaven will come to you. I hear that amen, the miracle stand in your life. I hear your amen, the miracle manifest in your life. The Lord do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Don't look at and say, God, thank you for what you have done. Thank you for the successful thanksgiving. Thank you for the testimony. Thank you for all you have done. Oh, I don't know we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. As you are going, go with us. I cover the road with the blood of Jesus. I arrive home successfully. Wherever you are going, whether I put your legos to me, I go wherever I a Saba. Lord, take your children home. And there shall be a testimony of this service. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's share the grace in one voice. That the grace of our Lord Jesus, Lord of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now forevermore. Surely, all the days of I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Tap your head. See my head? My head. It's a good head. See my life? It's a good one. And just will fight for me. Greatness on my side. Somebody shout hallelujah.
Señor es maestro. 